Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today is going to be the third video in the series on testing of the analog input cards, specifically the OF8 and IF16. Now if you've watched the other two videos, you see that I've done one on voltage, one on current. In this video, I'm going to show you why it's important to test in both modes on all channels and uh, it's looking to me like uh, testing single end mode is going to give you a better result in testing than the differential mode. Um, once I uh, get reset up here and get closer to the chassis, I'll, we'll go over the uh, wiring diagrams and uh, show you what I mean there. And uh, my testing in the last few days, I have found one bad card. Now that card works perfectly on voltage. Now if I'd continued as I had when I first started out doing this, I would have only tested it in voltage and not known that when I tested it that they had two current channels that were damaged. And we'll see if we can open it up after and uh, have a look and see if we can see the damage. I have my doubts, but I haven't opened it up yet. So, we'll be back in a minute uh, at the chassis just to go over the wiring and, that's, and uh, the... We'll be back in a minute to go over the wiring diagrams and then we'll go over to the screen and do the testing the way we have in the other two videos. All right, we're back, and here's the chassis. So here's my analog voltage test setup. I have an OF8 fitting into an IF16. Uh, each channel on the OF8 is tied to two inputs on the way down on the IF16. The common is common on all points on the OF8, and the common is also common on all four points on the IF16. So if we look at the wiring diagram, or just have a sec here. Okay, so here is the uh, field side circuit diagram, as Alan Bradley calls it, or Rockwell if you want. And this is of the voltage input circuit on the IF8 and IF16. And this also applies to the heart module, which uh, I'll be doing one on them later. So, here's our voltage input, and you take your common terminal, which is return, which is one of the four, is what you use for voltage, along with your positive input. Now, as you can see, there's two other term, uh, terminals there, which is for the other side of, the, of this equation, which is the current module setting. So if we take and go to the other side here and maybe I can zoom in just a bit. So now you can see that in current mode for the analog input now we're using all of these wiring points. These are the returns. These are the input, the milliamp input. And when you look at the wiring arm, which is this one, I know it's kind of hard to see, but all of these terminals here are jumpered together. That encompasses the output or the input um, commons. So there we go, there's the basic. So now we'll go over to the uh, screen and we'll do a fast test on the. Uh, on the uh, voltage mode and uh, then we'll do the current. Be right back. Okay, so we are in voltage mode and the card is wired for voltage and the programming is done for voltage. I've got two separate programs, make it makes it a little easier for me. So currently, and it's hard to see here, but I'll zoom in a little bit and come up. So we're at our, our 5 volt input setting. So if I go there, we're at 8 volts. And you can see in the bottom 
part of the screen where it's going to 7.9 something and everything's working fine. We'll go down a little further here to these ones and there you can see the same. So now if I go to the 2 volt setting it does the same. So all of the voltage inputs as you can see are currently on 1.99 which is our 2 volt setting and we go all the way across everything is fine so that shows that yes everything on this card in voltage mode is good so now I'll take and swap around here and change the uh, system to milliamp mode so it's just a matter I got to pull I've got to add a second card because of the way it's set up as you've probably seen in the other video remove the wiring arms for voltage insert the wiring arms for current and this is a nice tight system so rather than you watch this I'll just okay back here shortly now as you can see I've changed the uh, added the second OF8 so that we have all 16 channels wired in single-ended mode and our next step is now to download the uh, current mode uh, program as you can see here possibly this one's flashing because this is still set for voltage so I'll uh, do the loading which ta always takes a minute and I'll be right back all right so we're back and as you can see all the lights are on solid everybody's happy we go back to the screen and as you may remember from the other video or if not um, these are our two output cards feeding into our one input card on all 16 channels single end all with the same setups so we are currently at an output of 20 milliamps. Now the cards are for the outputs are good everything's saying the same so now let's have a look at the inputs. Now as you can see 1920, 1920 go all the way along and it's the same all the way along. So you think okay things are fine but let's pick uh, 10 volts and we'll start out on this side which is 0 and 8 and you can see 9 10 that's good 9 10 10 and what's this with 20 10 and the next one is on so channels 10 and 11 which are right across from each other are both showing 20 milliamps and we keep going and the rest are all 10 so obviously there we go um, we we'll go back to these two guys here and obviously to me and we'll find out we'll just pick one more there's four milliamps right everything stays so obviously to me there's damage physical damage inside that analog input on those two channels and when you look at the uh, field wiring diagram I would say that it's a 249 ohm quarter watt resistor that has problems um, there's all kinds of different things but let's find out so back in a minute all right so here we are back and as you may be able to see right there it is is where there's damage you can see a burn mark there if you look really close compared and it's not that hard to see uh, and no other burn marks on there so that shows us that's where the resistors 
or maybe they're capacitors, it's hard to say. It says C142, and I'd have to think C141 is those are those two uh, connections right there. So if we had not, and where this resides is underneath this little piece here, and unless you'd looked, had the side plates off and looked underneath there, you wouldn't have seen that. So you have to take the side plate off to check that. But <coughs> if we had not tested in both modes, voltage and current, we wouldn't have found that. And if I had sold this to a customer and they wanted to use it on current mode, I would have been doing warranty. So there we go. There is a prime example of why you need to be testing everything fully um, and using all of the components on the card. And that's where your uh, single-ended current and single-ended voltage will show you what's going on. Thanks a lot. Come back often if you'd like. Um, I try to post videos when I can. And uh, subscribe. And if you really feel enthused, hit the little bell to get notification when I uh, post another video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.